bam, back pow with another video. We're going to be talking about Mullen stock, ticker symbol M-U-L-N for Mullen Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-M. Now, as we know, Mullen had a huge crash on Mullen, okay? I actually had shares of Mullen this day, and we actually sold them. So remember, I sold the shares of Mullen because I wanted to play Ape, which I played here and took for profit. That's why I say make sure you join the team. Use that code 10START so you can join the team. You get 10% off anything on the website, your monthly, your yearly, and et cetera, okay? So make sure you use that code. That code does end by midnight tonight. But as we know, Mullen crashed a lot. We're going to go over the news, why it crashed. We're also going to go over some positive news, some big catalysts they have this month, and the key hires that they're kind of doing with one of their uh, partnerships with Bollinger Motors, okay? So this video will be mainly news. Now, this will be a part one. If you guys want the part two, the part two will be all levels on Mullen, okay? It'll be all new levels, support levels, resistance levels, buying levels, how I'm looking to play it, and etc. So if you guys want that part two today, get this video over 150 likes within three hours. If you can get the video with uh, over 150 likes within three hours, then I will post a part two. If you don't, then no part two, okay? So you won't get levels on Mullen pretty much is what I'm saying. This will be all news, 150 likes, three hours. So smash that like button crazy and subscribe. Okay, so let's get straight into it. News is they did not file their form 10K. Okay, that was the biggest reason why they kind of dropped after hours. I'm pretty sure some more news is going to come out maybe over the weekend, maybe Monday. So uh, I'll probably update you guys more on that. I want to see the exact detail of the filing. I did look it up, but it only showed their last filing that they did. It doesn't show this one. So apparently they did not do a filing. Okay. There's no side of a 10K form for Mullen. They said they still had till 5.30 p.m., but I don't think they did. Then the stock closed lower 8%, and then you guys saw that drop after hours. Now, the stock closed in red because the company still hasn't filed its form 10K or annual report for the fiscal year ending September 30th. I looked the report up. Or else it would be considered late if they didn't file it. Now, they already got an extension once, okay? Don't want that to happen again. So the drama unfolded after Mullen filed a Form NT, which stands for non-timely on December 29th, uh, marked the initial deadline for Mullen to file as 10K, which is 90 days after the end of the fiscal year on September 30th. The Form NT provided the electric EV company with a 15-day grace period, extending the deadline to January 15th. Mullen attributed the extension to needing more time to properly value its warrants. The warrants could have an impact on the consolidated results of operations. The company also added that the valuation of the warrants will have no effect on free cash flow and cash flow operations. So basically, this is the main reason why they crashed down to the floor of their 10K and they did not receive the form. So firstly, this is what happens. Mullen would lose Rule 144 eligibility. The company would also lose the power to file a Form S3 and a Form S8 according to 100 F Street Mullen were grain Rule 144 eligibility and the power to form those files once the Form 10K is received. However, a late Form 10K means that Mullen will be unable to form an S3 for at least a period of 12 months. Now, remember, this is all the news on Mullen. If you guys want the levels on Mullen, which would be the part two video, all you gotta do is get the video over 150 likes within three hours, and I'll post that for you guys, okay? This is this is a whole lot of definition in here, so just make sure you listen. This is the main reason why Mullen fell. The, a Form S3 is used in certain types of offerings, such through raising capital, so they won't be able to do that. They won't be able to raise capital for 12 months. Think about that. They won't be able to raise capital for 12 months since they filed late. Through a secondary offering are the exercise of outstanding warrants. They won't be able to do that. Meanwhile, a S8 is a registration statement that must be filed when companies register offer securities as a part of an employee plan, a benefit plan. Finally, Rule 144 eligibility covers the conditions in which restricted, unrestricted, and controlled securities can be sold. Are resold. So basically, they won't be doing, they can't do none of that for at least 12 months since they filed late, which is not good, right? If a company, you want them to raise capital, you want them to put the capital towards the company to make the company better. So losing the power to file a Form S3 could spell particular trouble for Mullen. So I was just saying, at the company's upcoming special meeting of stockholders on January 19th, so that is coming next week, make sure you stay tuned for that, it proposed several provisions related to raising capital. You see that? In their stockholders meeting on January 19th, they proposed several provisions provision, provisions to raise capital, but they won't be able to do that because they didn't form their 10K. So it's, it's going to stop them a lot. So not too good. But don't worry, we're going to go with the positive news also. Proposal number two seeks to increase authorized common stock to $5 billion 
from 1.75 billion, while proposal number four seeks to issue 150 million in notes and up to 190 million of additional Series D preferred stock. So they probably won't be able to do most of that because they filed late. That's why that file late is so negative towards Mullen. They should have just did it or something, right? They sh they have 15 days grace period. They should have been doing that every day to get that file correctly. So in the meeting, they can propose all these, but now they might not to. Okay, so January 19 is going to be a big day uh, for Mullen stock. But that's like the main news, main news on Mullen, why they drop, and a lot of negative news on Mullen. But they do have some good side. Don't forget to smash like button, subscribe. Make sure you guys join the team. First thing in the description, use that code 10START. Make sure you use that code 10START to get 10% off your monthlies or yearly. When you sign up for the year, you also get uh, two months free when you sign up for the year. That code ends by midnight, and the prices will be going up. So the company Stand Post delivers urban uh, delivery vehicles to Europe. While the last match solution pollutes opportunities for Mullen stock. So just some good news on them of their partnerships, how the vehicles arrived and et cetera. Uh, they arrived in Ireland. They delivered expected early this month. And then there's just a lot of stuff like that. So it's really nothing too good on this one. This is the one I really want to go over here. As a social media lit earlier today, as users circulated job postings from Mullen acquired Bologen Motors. So basically they're looking to hire people for the Bologen Motors that they partnered with, right? Ambitions toward commercial electric vehicles present both risk and rewards for Mullen stock, which is true. Shares of electric uh, upstart Mullen, they dropped late after the news session on Friday. Earlier today, social media was buzzing about job openings at Bologna Motors, an EV specialist in which Mullen acquired a controlling interest last September. The decline of Mullen stock may reflect the risks associated with Bologna's heightened ambitions. On Bologna Motors' website, interest applications can compete for a range of new positions the early postings in Bunch was dated December 12, 2022, while the newest, the manufacturing director, hit the internet today, which was when this article was posted. Um, so basically, the positions cover a wide breadth of functionalities, including a significant investment of forward ambitions. Now, this is an acquirement that they did. So I guess people are saying it's negative because they're looking for people, but maybe they hire, they fire people because they want better people. So I don't think that's too bad of a thing. Most companies are looking for better people to run the company, right? So. I don't see that too much of a negative. I actually see that as a positive because they're trying to get the right people in that position, right? So these are the main news on Mullen, of why Mullen drop had that big drop afternoon. All the news that I saw, like I said, I'll probably update you guys on some more news on Monday if something comes out. But if you want that part two of all the new levels on Mullen, you got to get the video over 150 likes within three hours. So smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Use that code 10START. You get everything that I buy and sell. Like right here, we did a Meta Scout. Medical scalp right there. I see you guys a month strike price, what I pay for, where I'm looking to exit, what type of play it is. Sold half of those for a 9% gain. Sold 25% of those for break even. Then I sold the last 25% for a 20% gain. So only about an eight minute scalp. Very nice play that we did. Make sure you watch the videos before this one. I got a video on Tesla. I got a video on that I stock, a stock I bought heavy and a video on BBBY. I might update you guys on BBBY also, but make sure you watch the three videos I got before this one and follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Please make sure you're following their rights one. There are fake ones going around. I'll never message you for money or nothing. So make sure you're following the right one. I'm showing you the right one now. 1,635 followers follow one person. Please follow the right one. Do not get scammed. And always remember, no second day should buy or sell anything. Just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in that next one. Bye.